you're listening to WGXC's Afternoon Show. Uh, I'm Shanika. And I'm Jack Ross Pokington. All right, great. So here we are. It's our fun drive. And this was a song off of the new album Black and Gold by... Young Paris. He's in the studio with us. Let's fade out the track nice and professionally. Mm. So... Tell us, so this album, Black and Gold, it's a project you've been working on for a while, right? Uh, it's not necessarily an album. The, the name Black and Gold is actually, um, it, it, it's weird because it's not necessarily a group, but it, but it's, it kind of is a group. It's, it's me kind of leading the role and Miles Vidor and my sister Lady Moon are also featured artists. So Black and Gold is actually like the, it's like the name of... The collective? You would just call it a collective? Exactly, yeah. So, um... We don't actually have the name of the album yet, but it will be coming out sometime in the summer. And we're about halfway through, so come February, the songs will be done. And um, if you guys have been st- uh, keeping tuned, you'll be seeing a bunch of promo snippets I've been posting online. If you YouTube Black and Gold, and maybe type Paris, you'll be able to find some links. But yeah, coming soon. All right, so what, is the record being produced in Hudson, New York? Yeah, um... My, my producer, well, the guy who actually produced half the tunes so far, his name is Steve Durant, uh, um, from Montreal, Canada, and we were recording in Durant Land Studios up on Green Street. Inspiration from. I mean, I'm a huge with the fan. concept. As far as artists go, like I like a lot of older music. Um, when it comes to contemporary stuff, I'm, I'm a big fan of most Def. but I don't really let artists kind of relate it to my music. I actually don't listen to a lot of music, and it kind of probably why I keep my own sound, but um, the inspiration pretty much just comes from the idea of indie rock um, and hip-hop clashing, so the way it kind of is formed is... But yeah, I was wondering, do you listen to any indie rock at all, or...? Yeah, I'm actually just getting into it, I never... I ne- I, what are I, some of the artists that kind of stick out in your mind right now? Okay, um, uh, Radiohead is, is pretty big in my head, like, I listen to a lot of them, um, if I do listen. Um, uh, indie rock, can't even... I probably couldn't even name many because I really don't listen to a lot of music. But, um, but like Steve Duran, who are you saying then would be like the indie rock component to the exactly. indie rock hip hop or let's say alternative music yeah. hip hop collaboration? Yeah, exactly. It's, well, hip- it's a good concept. It reminds me a little of Lupe Fiasco, mm-hmm. um, just purely more on an aesthetic level more than production because he's kind of molding these, I, I guess, the IT- idea of being really alternative. Uh, that you know could also be traced back to like early '90s, like a tribe called Quest. Yeah. You know, like you said, most Def, um, De La Soul, Queen yeah. Latifah. You know, hip hop groups that were around the '90s that were molding what is now, especially now, more of an alternative aesthetic. Um, and with their influences, you know, like George Clinton and yeah. Jazz and Davis and exactly. Charles Mingus and sampling those records that are now. Uh, would be like major influences in a lot of the uh, indie artists, as you call them, uh, yeah. as we call them now, even though I don't really like that genre name, you know. So yeah. it's cool. And then there are like the it's I, I it's an interesting project too because there are alternative music groups, you know, or indie artists, um, you know, like the Dirty Projectors who do or the XX, like groups that have a very like hip hop R and B production value to their music, but you know, it's for a uh, different kind of listenership, like molding those two. Yeah. Especially now it's going on everyone's more eclectic and you know, like what was popular in the nineties, R and B and hip hop and creative, yeah. yeah. So it's a nice m- meshing of those two. Uh yeah, so black and gold, really interesting. Uh, so yeah. tell us about a little bit about yourself, your you weren't born in Hudson, but you've grown up here. Yeah. Um, well, my my real name is Milan Dubadila. Milan oh, Dubadila. you're that guy who yeah, donated. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just actually pledged. So actually, um, before I even jump into myself, let me kind of um, jump back to the topic. And what we're doing here is um, those who follow and support my music, it would be really important for me if you guys actually do get into the influence of what WGXE represents. And if you haven't heard from before, what we're doing is having the pledge drive here. You can call in 828-0290-697-7400 or 291-WGXC and donate because, you know, we need to raise another, um, a big chunk of money and we have a few days left. So it's really important 
to get your influence in what is right and what is local. So um, again, eight two eight zero two nine zero. Call in as soon as you can. So um, yeah, I'm Young Paris. I'm known as Young Paris. I've been um, pretty much holding that name for the past five years. Um, I kind of started my career. I, well, just to jump a little early. I was born in Paris originally. Left when I was very young and moved to the States um, based on my parents wanting us to meet our American family. And just kind of grew up for that. Um, and I was born into a, like a more African-inspired household when my father founded the National Ballet and my mother followed that influence. And we just grew up in, um, with African dance and drum. And I used more of the contemporary feel in jumping into the hip-hop music. And now what I'm doing is trying to create all of these melodies and clash them together with this newest project. But um, again, yeah, Young Paris been holding the name down for like five years. I'm doing the music thing for maybe eight. And I kind of just, I really want to give myself a little more, a little honor here because I just, I matured so much in the past year, especially musically because I follow like a lot of the contemporary ideas of what hip hop is. And now um, what's happening, what's very important of this Black and Gold project is really giving me and giving like the whole soul of what I really want to represent. So um it took a lot of the indie rock and the more live inspired music to get me in the zone to just uh, recreate my real feeling. Um, but yeah, all I can really say is black and gold everything and stay tuned and look forward to that. But, um, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so how did you come up with the moniker Young Paris? Uh, Young Paris actually, um, what happened in, in, in school, I went to um, Mohawk Valley Community College. Shout out to Mohawk. Um, um, I would tell everyone my name is Milandu and the girls pretty, really couldn't pronounce my name and then I would say it's Mills because Mills is short for Milandu and um, it's funny the women cliche the women would call me Paris and they thought it was cute and I just stuck to it and I would freestyle and stuff on college and they just, I would just turned to Young Paris so it's kind of more of a hip hop inspired name just just living and being me turned into Young Paris. Do you ever Paris. think you'll dr- drop the young at some point? Um, yes, yeah, that's, that's a big question. A lot of people ask me that. Um, we'll, we, we will see, but... I you know, because like Lil Bow Wow was Lil Bow Wow, yeah, and then exactly. he was like, I'm Bow Wow, I'm a man now. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, the young makes um, it makes it a little spicy so far in my life, and I'm still young, so I guess I could just stick to that for the time being. But Paris, actually, I present myself as Paris to anyone that I do mm-hmm. speak to, but the young just makes it like, it's two names, it's more than one. Yeah, it's really interesting, the two conflicting identities you must have here, yeah. uh, being a local artist and growing up around here, and then being, on one hand, Milandu to some people, and the other one, Young Paris, or just Paris. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, I try to um, divide, not necessarily divide the two, but I have my Milandu ways, and I have my very Young Paris ways, so there's some... Like I, I guess I call myself a workaholic where I'm just super driven and really into it. And my parents really inspire me to just stay, stick on top of whatever you believe in and just follow it. But the young Paris in me, like the swag and the ego, makes me like knock out all the all the barriers that I'm trying to break down. So, so you're talking about freestyling. Yeah. You can say no if you want, but oh, I'm man. gonna put on an instrumental track because I like to listen <laughs> to. Um, uh, uh, like electro music okay. and it's always instrumental so I'm going to put on a track and I would like if you want you can well, let's, hear, let's hear it out Let me see if you I can, can rap over it freestyle over it freestyle about WGXC's pledge drive can you do no, that? I'm not the best freestyler I'm a, I'm a wonderful writer but I'll try I'll have fun let's go hip hop ah shout out to hip hop shop shop so yeah oh where's the beat is it, is it going to kick is it going to kick in this is the beat, man. Okay, turn it up a little bit. Call in right now, 828-0290. Call in for the pledge drive. Uh, call the pledge drive, 828-0290. That's great. You could do this, B4A. Try to get that cake. Try to get that cake. Snap it up, see if it's great. Call me, just G4A. Other the beat trying to make me shake. Get off your dancing, shake. It's kind of hard to not curse but i'm on this no rehearse <laughs> freestyle off the top of the hearse young p you can call you thirst uh, obey your thirst no sprite no burnt no burst uh, do it like this uh, 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 ah. 
Young Paris, young born in Paris Raised African like my parents Four sister, hey. sister Cavish I was told to live life and show talent So about it, street money, 10 million times I keep about two in my pocket So about it, clean money, 10 million bank Keep 10 bills in my wallet uh, Drum in a dream No drugs, no gun, no team I stand alone, you see me I'm a mark, R-E-B-E-L uh, uh. That was awesome Thanks Hey, WGXC, tune in right now, 9.7, 828-0290-697-7400-291-WGXC. Call in, call in, call in, tune in, tune in, WGXC.org, Young Paris, Black and Gold. Thank you so much for coming in. That's on the afternoon show. I'm going to rescue my husband from the best bathroom. Next, we're going to have Nick the Dad in the studio. It's our pledge drive. Thank you so much for Pamela Badilla. Thanks, Young Paris, for like previewing some black and gold and answering some questions and then doing a really awesome WGFC free drive. Uh, I started off with most called that PK. Four seasons felt like a weekend. Wouldn't you want to know what?